Have you ever been on the smoothie train only to jump right back off? Because you're like, shoot, I don't want to get my blender out every day and I don't want to have to wash it and it's expensive and I just don't want to mess with it. Well, I have a tip and a trick for you today on how to make a smoothie without a blender and one that's really nutritious and gives you lots of energy. So if you'd like to find out how, you need to click the like button and subscribe and then don't forget about the notification bell so you can be informed when I have more videos coming out. So let's get right into it. The tip, the trick, the solution to making a smoothie with no blender starts with a glass container of nut-based yogurt. This is Coco Yo, it's my favorite. And so what I do is I just take it and I take some of the yogurt out and I put it in a, in a glass container that I save. So this one will be the start of my one for tomorrow. So then after I've taken about half of it out, I take a plant-based protein and I put about a tablespoonful of that in my coconut yogurt. Then I take stevia, I take a, a dropper full because I love sweets, I have a sweet tooth. And then I take coconut or cacao nibs, I put about a tablespoonful of that in there. And then I take a nut-based creamer to make it more smoothie-like, I pour that in there. I throw some blackberries in there. And then I also put, which is my favorite, espresso powder, instant espresso powder in it. And then I put the lid on it and I shake it. And then I put it in my lunch pail with a little freezer pouch and I'm out the door. This really is a cost and a time savings way to do a smoothie with no blender because you're literally using one container of yogurt every two days and if you save your glass containers like I do, you're helping out the planet and you're not consuming as much plastic which is also very helpful. But this Coco Yo is my favorite of the moment. It changes quite often but I like it because it's in a glass container and it is nut based so it's always a good idea to get more plants and nuts into our diet. But this has very little sugar, very little carbohydrates, and I do like the taste of it. But the good thing is if you find a nut yogurt that you feel like you wanna try out and you don't love the taste, you can add stevia or any inulin-based product because inulin feeds the good bacteria in the body and it starves the bad bacteria. So it's really aiding in your digestion and it makes it taste pretty yummy. I kind of espouse to what Dr. Gundry says, I booted the fruit. And the reason being is I only use berries because they're very low in sugar or the glycemic index is low. Because I was making all these smoothies and they had mangoes and bananas and pineapple and peaches. And those things have almost as much sugar, if not more sugar than things like a Twizzlers and Skittles, a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, Butterfinger, Milky Way. And so what happens, even though you're eating the fruit and you are getting some of the nutrients, you are getting the spike in your insulin level, it is causing that to go way up, which in turn leads to some inflammation. So boot the fruit. If you're gonna make a smoothie, only use berries. The other thing is I do a plant-based protein powder that's very low in carbohydrates because it's a great idea to get more plants, but also you're gonna get almost a complete chain of amino acids, which is how the body builds and repairs muscle tissue. I add cacao nibs because I love chocolate, but not only that, these are full of bioflavonoids. They are a mood booster. They have a lot of fiber in them and they taste chocolatey and yummy. I also use a coconut-based or nut-based creamer. This is Laird's, but there's some other ones that are made out of macadamia nuts and have MCT oil. Just make sure that it has very low carbohydrates and low sugar, and it just helps make the consistency more like a smoothie. And then I love adding instant espresso powder. It just kind of gives me a little afternoon boost without having to have a cup of coffee. It's easy to take along with you, but I'm also gonna list some ideas of other things that you could add, like vanilla, um, nuts if you want to. I did a video on how to soak your nuts and why you should soak your nuts that I'll link to, but I'm gonna give you a list and then on my website, I will give you some recipes and some other ideas on how to make smoothies if you do want to use your blender. But if you would um, post below, like, uh, yes, if you're gonna try this or let me know what your challenges are and what is working for you. I would love to hear 
from you. And then also, if you find a comment below that you can respond to, let's have a conversation going. So if you like this video, I would love for you to like and subscribe and to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when my videos come out. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, be blessed.